So it's lovely to meet you. It's lovely to meet you too. And uh, thank you for the talk. It was really, really empowering. Um, I was just wondering if I could ask you a few questions. Sure. Um, if we could start, if you could just briefly explain who you are and what you do. Yeah, so my name is Pip Jameson and I'm the founder of The Dots, which people call like LinkedIn, but for the creative industries. How did you come up with the idea? How did it all start? Yeah, it, it started because I used to work at MTV and oh. while I was there, I was just really struggling with having a network where I could connect with like fellow creatives sure. and build my network and LinkedIn was so dry and corporate mm. um, and so from there, I was also really struggling finding new creatives to work at MTV, so I wanted to create a platform that is not only easy for people to promote themselves, network with each other, but also to connect them to like jobs and freelance opportunities and connect the dots, basically. Mm. If you were to give three tips to help creatives kind of get noticed by employers, yeah. what, would you, what would be your advice, what would be your tips? I think when it comes to design, um, in terms of your portfolio, less is more. 100%. Right. I mean, simplicity. simplicity, simplicity. I mean, curate, curate, curate. Um, I, it's so funny how many times you can say this, but people don't, and like right. you'll suddenly get like 10 projects, but actually, the average quality of someone's portfolio will be brought down by the worst piece of work in it. So, mm -hmm. definitely, less is more. What has been the best collaboration to be kind of born out of the dots for you? Oh my God, so many. Um, <laughs> oh God, we, I mean, God, it's so funny watching the collaborations. I mean, actually, DNAD is one of my favorite, is in oh. our business collaborations. Yeah. So a lot of the dots is founded in helping businesses build more, more diversity across the mm -hmm. industry. And so we actually um, hack the site so that more diverse people come to the top of search results. So um, we're actually 61% female on the dots. Um, and what I love about DNAD is they have this brilliant program called DNAD Shift that helps kids from backgrounds who'd never think about the creative industries as a job, trains them up, and then where we come in is then helping them get work. If you could give us a little bit of advice and students and mm. people like that, young people, how, would, how do you avoid a burnout? Yeah, I mean, it's such a badge of honor to work stupid hours, mm. um, which is so counterproductive, because the more hours mm. you work doesn't necessarily equate to better output. Um, I think there's a couple of things you can do. I mean, one, it's like making sure you have your sort of happy place. Like yeah. I live on a boat, I go for a row, it chills me out, it kind of, but it's also being really um, introspective about what makes you happy. Cause I think there's that kind of checklist where people go, you have to do yoga or you have to meditate, yeah. or you have to go for walks. But actually it's very personal to you. I mean, some people need to go out with their mates and get absolutely rattled <laughs> to give them energy. I'm a student, I yeah, know about yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I think it's about going, what actually gives me energy, what gives yeah. me inspiration, instead of like that kind of dictatorial, I have to do yoga once a week. Some people just doesn't, it doesn't work for them. So did you kind of find that you felt like living on a boat would be the lifestyle for you? Did it come to you or was it like you always, that was your dream or? It was the only way I could get my husband to move to London. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Fair enough. Um, but as soon as he said, let's live on a boat, I was like, absolutely. It is the most magical way to live really? in central London. Like literally I wake up every morning and it's like the ducks and the swans and you know, you just got this, like, I live in the country in the middle of the city yeah. and it's affordable and nothing in London is affordable no. anymore. What general advice would you give to young people going through those low times, especially where people are trying to get into the industry or just career, career kind of goals in general? What advice would you give? Yeah, I mean, the low, everyone's career is highs and lows and if yeah. you're not, you're not pushing yourself. So yeah. if it's too cruisy, you know, um, <laughs> I think what I've learned over every low is actually that's when I've learned the most. And mm. when things are really easy, you're not really learning new skills or taking yeah. on more responsibility. So I've kind of almost tricked my brain now when things are really tough to go, actually, this is when I'm learning the most. And it's not great at the time, but you do come out as long as you reflect on why it was bad, what went wrong. Yeah. Once you come out of that, you, you're a much better creative or creator or built, you know, out the other end because of all the learnings you did on that mm. low bit and actually once I start changing my brain to think like that it makes those lows a lot more manageable. Yeah. Um.